I don't know. It's just I, I think the word love has been used wrongfully, and, and that's one that's one of the things that I, I help a lot on dog on dog dog lovers. Yeah. Because that's the first thing they do. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you mean I can't love my dog? Mm -hmm. It's like no, uh, yes, you will. Yeah, you You're are. just gonna do it right. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. You know, because right you have right. a dog that is in a five flight avoidance. <laughs> right. So yeah, yeah. if yeah. you give love, you nurture in five flight avoidance. Yeah. Life is definitely simple, we make it complicated. So my goal in life right now is to make sure that I share my wisdom to the next generation. Happy Valentine's everybody uh, from the Dog Psychology Center, the most magical place on earth where we show true love to our animals, no matter what species they are, because it's all about energy, philosophy, and actions. This topic of love has been my favorite because uh, I don't think we know love as much, uh, meaning how to create it, mm -hmm. how to maintain it, how to give it, when to give it, who to give it to, why to give it to. Um, so I think we have... Um, um, the, I, I think we have heard the word love not in a profound way right because everybody says follow in love be in love everything is love uh all you need is love and for us uh, for us we work with dog lovers mm -hmm. and you would think that this human beings with such a big heart the heart of gold you know because i think dog lovers have the biggest heart in the world mm -hmm. It's all over the world. It's, it's the biggest religion in the world to be a dog lover. But I don't think we are we are uh, we have done honor to love. We have in we have in love with honor. We have in love with respect. So I think today I wanna I wanna take advantage to talk to you about it because if I didn't know anything about love, I'm passing that information to you. Mm -hmm. And and uh, we can misuse love. We can we can hurt love, we can uh, abuse love, misuse love. So I would like at one point in life to to make things clear, mm -hmm. right? So they're beautiful, they have the structure, and they're clear. Beautiful structure, clear. So for me, love um, requires two other things: it requires a human who understands a spirituality. And a spirituality for me is a, a human who wants to live at the highest level of honesty, integrity, loyalty, uh, to be happy because you're practicing something that requires no money. Uh, you don't have to do it because somebody's telling you to do it is the right thing to do. Mm. And you do it every single second of your life. So to me, love begins with that little uh, part of the four worlds, right? So honesty, integrity, loyalty, happy about it every moment. Mm -hmm. And then we move into responsibilities. And responsibilities is how do you stay alive, right? And, and how do you stay alive? Well, you need water, you need food, you need shelter. Hopefully you have a, a, a family. And within that family, you pitch in and you're part of the pack, part of the family, and you find your position in the pack and you move the whole family. Mm -hmm. So way before you learn about what you want and what you need as an individual, you need to understand your responsibilities in the pack. Mm -hmm. Right. And then once you have those two ingredients and then you can love trusting your spirit, respecting your instincts and then love that mm -hmm. so you can then go live life. Right. Because for me, the mind is the one that creates the money, the fame, the power mm -hmm. and the spirit, the instinct and the heart is the one that creates the natural, simple, profound. Right. And that to me is love. And that's what uh, we have done here at the Dog Psychology Center. You guys grew up in that philosophy without me knowing that I was, that I wanted to embrace it fully because coming from my mom and my dad, um, I grew up in, in, the, in, the, in this beautiful love that my mom created. I grew up in this beautiful integrity my, that my dad created. Mm -hmm. uh, but it wasn't like a full thing, you know, where I get to enjoy the four worlds and I was clear about it and I got to see it, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I get to see love, but I also got to see pain, mm. right? I got to see integrity, but I also got to see dishonesty. I got to see responsibility, but I also got to see irresponsibilities. Mm -hmm. And then our life was chaotic, mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we come from a very loving family. You know, my mom, that's the heart of the family. Of course. That's the epitome of love, my mother. Uh, my dad is the epitome of hard work. Of course. My dad outworked all of us. Oh. He, at 86 years of age. Anybody you know, he'll he'll outwork anybody you, you know. You see it? So for me, love is the four L's. Mm -hmm. Loyalty is what represents my spirituality. Leadership, because I'm the pack leader of my whole family since yes. I was six. Facts. Um, represents instincts. I love that I'm loyal and I have a position in the pack. In my case, as the leader. Uh, and then I live life that way. Mm. So loyalty, live. leadership. Love, love life. life. You see it? So I want to take take uh, this this February 14 as the for 2024 as 2024 is the four worlds. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm. How mm. about that? Mm. And uh, my favorite number is number three. But uh. for some reason, uh, this is the first time we're doing something in, in, uh, in the name of love. Mm -hmm. But we don't forget about the other ingredients mm -hmm. that uh, are just as powerful as love is because a lot of times people love but they're not loyal no, that's facts a lot of a lot of times people love but they're not playing part of the pack mm -hmm. leader mm -hmm. middle of the pack back of the pack they just don't do it mm -hmm. you know and so once you once you listen and want to obey or listen or, or follow that that law and, and then you are a more loving person mm -hmm. yeah because as a as a father i have to i have to tell hey you have to be loyal you have to be a leader you mm -hmm. have to love you have to but I can't just say it. I have to show it to mm -hmm. you. And then my actions, uh, I also uh, a way to to show you love. You know, mm -hmm. to show to show love to the land, love to the world, love to the animals, love to myself. That's the last one I'm teaching you. Uh, the last, the last, the last love I'm, I I have managed to do is self love, and and. Um, I have shown love to my family, show mm -hmm. love to the land, of show course. love to the world, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. love to the dogs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we can't forget about ourselves. But in Mexico, uh, they do teach you the packets, everything, mm -hmm. right? Family first. And they don't teach you about uh, self-oriented. I think that's where America does a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do feel that America often forgets about the pack, the pack. you know, uh, which is very sad because then the dog suffers the consequences mm -hmm. because uh, wherever you live is going to be a philosophy that you practice consciously or unconsciously. Mm -hmm. So the most loving thing I can do for you and your brother is, is to lead by example, to own my own uh, dishonest moments and uh, work on my leadership all the time. And not only being a good leader, but also being a good follower, because as soon as I'm in front of my mom and my dad, I, I, I follow, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I, I follow. I, right I follow uh, is I don't fight the position. Mm -hmm. I, I know I'm the breadwinner mm -hmm. since I was a little kid, but I, I know that my loyalty and my surrender is to my mother and my father. And that's one way to love them. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's one way to love them besides showing uh, the language of love, which I learned that in America, that is five language of love. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like to give gifts. Yeah, yeah, acts of service. And my my acts of service gifts. is huge. Uh, yeah. I think my act of service is more like a, my mission type of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not even it's not even if I love it or not. Yeah, yeah, it's it just is. my it mission. Is. Okay, you know, I didn't. I come here with a mission. And so I learned the five love languages. Uh, right behind us, right behind me is somebody that we all love very much. Mm -hmm. But he was loyal. Mm -hmm. He was an incredible leader, leader. when he needed to be a leader. Uh, he show love at the right time and he he lived life that way you know so if we think about daddy we think about loyalty we think about pack oriented we think about love unconditional love to the to the highest level of unconditional love and then life life you know daddy lived the perfect four worlds mm -hmm. me not knowing mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and so my first 16 years of, of my marriage that's how long daddy was, was with alone, us yeah. And now I understand why he was with me. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't prepared to be a father. Mm -hmm. I wasn't prepared to be a husband. Mm -hmm. I wasn't prepared to be a dog whisperer. Mm -hmm. I wasn't prepared to do nothing. Mm -hmm. I just did everything out of responsibility, out of honor. And, and, then, and then the love that I have for the family comes out. You know, I wish my family would be here so they can help me raise you guys. So you at least receive the love that I got from my mom. Uh, the uh, 
the admiration that my dad has for me, you know, uh, every single day. Because mm -hmm. when I could give it to you, mm -hmm. I would love for my dad to come and give you his energy, mm -hmm. just like he's giving it to Ponchin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, as, <laughs> uh, Ponchin is living in the perfect four worlds. Yeah, yeah, he has it made. He has it really good. Yeah, sometimes uh, they don't them. they don't follow the rules by limitation. Yeah. You can see. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and I tell my sisters, right. hey, you gotta jump on this yeah, guy yeah, because yeah. that's not love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what yeah. I mean? So even for our own nephews, yeah. uh, we don't tolerate someone who is not polite. Mm, yeah, that's right. Who is not helpful in the family. Mm -hmm. We do not nurture lazy people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's out of the question for yeah. us. Yeah. We don't find we uh, love does not grow up. Uh, if you're not uh, a human that the, the helps the family move forward, you know, that to me is no love. That, so I, I'm very specific about where to love, what, what parts of the world I love, when what food love. do I love, um, what people do I love, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, cool. What part of me I love mm -hmm. and to learn to love myself fully regardless. Uh, of of anything and what about you what do you well growing up it's a very different experience especially growing up with somebody who was as driven as you it definitely has a different impact than what my brother has the love that i received was a a leadership role a a, a drive beyond others uh work before anything because you had no other choice. You had to provide. And of course, you, you mentioned you weren't ready for, to have a kid, which I, I don't think anybody is, especially the first time. Usually the second time around, everybody's like, oh, I know what it's like. I know how to prepare. So I can see how that energy and those actions and behaviors that I would grow up with was very this, 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 and then this. And so to see leadership role coming as a uh, coming from a young human's perspective and watching you do all of these things, you know, there are tireless nights that you were not home because of the hard, hard uh, at work that you were putting in. And to see that growing up is a different type of love that I was observing. Mm -hmm. That love is the love of a family, but in a different in a bigger spectrum, but it's it's not really fathomable to the ones on the outside, mm -hmm. only to those who are doing it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I remember times where you would try to explain to us mm -hmm. your actions or what you're doing and why you're doing it for the long term, mm -hmm. for the long, for the big picture. And as a child, you don't really get it, but you see it. And so it was a different understanding of what kind of love was being given. My mom is a soft, sensitive babying type which is okay and this is the type that we needed at that time um that's the one she knew that's the only one she knew right and you know she loves differently now and and um but then you know as i got older i was starting to realize what my faults were because of how i wasn't holding up the four worlds properly mm -hmm. my four worlds were rearranged with fun friends mm -hmm. the different f's right mm -hmm. that you have l's i had f's mm -hmm. friends fun uh, mm -hmm. fantasy mm -hmm. and, and, and fiction, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just things that are not really tangible or existent. It's all in my head. It's, it's all self-created, mm -hmm. which is a selfish thing. And as you said, and mentioned earlier, it's self-oriented and I'm really good at that, mm -hmm. at, at caring about myself to a degree, mm. to a degree. That's very loving. To, to a degree. To be mm. Well, because but of be the honest. confusion, but oh yes. Okay. Well, we're talking about love. So what's right. love? Right. 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 So, so right now this is a very loving moment. So. It, minds were rearranged differently because of the love I was given. And the love that I was given from my mother was a very um, redirective type of love, mm -hmm. a very American and um, not really or, uh, pack oriented base. And then I and I do remember a lot of the times there was a lot of conflict of of how your idea, ideology of upbringing children and her ideology of upbringing children. Mm -hmm. And the conflict, which was very open, is, listen, I've done this from this, and I'm a lot more poor, and still, and a lot more poor than you, and I come from a lot more of a, a less material-based life. I know what I'm supposed to do, because look where I am, 
And that message can't be really received properly from somebody who has never gone through those trials and tribulations where there are points of conflict all the time. But to see one family member, the leader, the one who holds all four L's, undivine, like uh, divine, sorry, divine, and the other one to hold the human life, right? The human way of loving, the human way of, of, of approaching love, it can be confusing, very confusing. I love you, mom. You know, I love your mom <coughs> now. Uh, I wish we would have been in the same agreement. We could have commit and follow through uh, and we can be uh, parent. Uh, co-parenting. Co-parenting uh, with the same energy and philosophy and actions, even though at one point we were going to separate mm -hmm. because we were not compatible. But I still love your mother now because what she did for me, right? she gave me two kids. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and while she was uh, doing her very best, I got to work from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. And that's out of love. Mm -hmm. You know, I love I love everything that ha has happened, even though sometimes I didn't understand, understood why, you know. But now I say, okay, if we would have done it this way, and then our kids would not have to go through five flight avoidance. Right. You know, our, our, uh, our divorce will be loving, mm -hmm. right? Because we were not compatible, mm -hmm. and that's 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 okay. We were meant to be for a certain period of time, mm -hmm. and and uh, but we could have done a much better job co-parenting, mm -hmm. right? And and the only thing that was missing was the agreement, the commitment, and the follow. We were both committed to a certain extent, mm -hmm. but we didn't have the same agreement. Yes, that's and true. And so our follow-through was different. Mm -hmm. So that end up end up confusing with you guys us. being confused. Very confusing. <laughs> That's yeah. one thing with dogs, mm -hmm. right? So uh, I'm gonna bring it back to the dog world. That's a, that's what's going on, right? With it. Because parent uh, people with dogs do the same thing. It's the same thing. You're confusing us. Uh, uh, people with dogs do the same thing, and they do it out of in the name of love. Mm, that's right. Right. And so dog lovers do it in the name of love, saying, "I love the dog," or "This is your dog. This is not my dog." I love the dog, but I don't walk the dog. This I love is, the dog. This is when he's your dog. That's this is right. when he's mine. I love the dog, but we don't have the same rules, bounds, limitations. Right. I love the dog, but I don't follow through. Mm. You know, I love the dog, but I blame everybody else except me taking responsibility. So it's you know it's it's kind of like the same, and that's what I actually uh, it teach it taught me a lot. Uh, my marriage it taught me a lot about love. Mm -hmm. It taught me a lot about the formula, the rituals, mm -hmm. the symbols. Uh, I. I was I managed to in such a harsh situation or harsh moment in my life turn it around and let love take over uh, in the name of you guys in mm. the name of you and Calvin uh, because I love you very much I love you both very much uh, uh, that's unquestionable uh, one way to show love is honoring you, is respecting you, is, is keeping you alive. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's one of my biggest achievements is not becoming the dog whisperer, it's keeping two kids alive. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Yeah. It's hard. It's easier to win the Super Bowl, you know, for the guys who are doing the Super Bowl, they're raising their kids. Guarantee. Guarantee. That for them is a piece of cake. You know, mm -hmm. That's, it, 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 it comes out natural. Mm -hmm. But raising a kid... It's is 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 your life their life depends on you and when when you guys are not feeling good and we can't be there we we feel devastated Sheesh. you know uh, uh, and it, and it's hard to explain mm -hmm. you know and 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 it doesn't feel good when 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 you when you guys say oh, you broke our heart is like the worst thing that can happen to a father mm. you know because we literally see a heart broken mm -hmm. you know and it's just a kid who is not understanding that what moment that word or <laughs> not, how what he's not, saying that's right, right not understanding that moment simple as that you know but thanks to love it keeps things moving you know dog lovers keep moving forward because the love of a dog mm -hmm. so it's a powerful energy but we have to learn how to honor it. Mm -hmm. We have to learn how to respect it. Mm -hmm. We have to learn how to live with it. Because I feel that we have used love the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You know, and in and, uh, and, and my profession, I can 100% tell you that dog lovers haven't done a good job. Mm -hmm. 
right? Because mm -hmm. knowledge is super important. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you don't have the knowledge, you can't really know when to love, how to love, who to love, mm -hmm. you know? So, so they end up uh, having a, a broken heart, mm -hmm. you know, because most dog lovers begin because they love that dog. That's what they adopt that dog. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and it's and it's not that way. It's energy first, knowledge is second, and then it's your actions. You see it, mm -hmm. and that for me, that's what love is all about. Mm -hmm. Understand energy, philosophy, and actions. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I think I'm the one who brought that out to the attention because at, at, at some at some point, people said Caesar is not very loving, and, and nothing can be more loving than being pure, right? The being honest, the do it the way they need to do it. Not mm -hmm. the way you want to yeah, do yeah. it. Oh, that's very. You know what I mean? Because that's why that's why the self-oriented uh, uh, is not the way we should be, because we have to do it their way. Okay. However, the pack wants it. It's right. The pack needs it. So it's not about how you want to do it, and that's the part that was that I learned. You know, uh, living in America is your is your self-love. Uh, which is extremely important. My mother would have totally benefit by having uh, vacations or oh, by having course. a moment for herself. And like nobody bothers nobody, her. We yeah. all go with my dad yeah, and let him to. deal with yeah. Yeah. what my mom yeah. deals yeah. Right. every day, right. five of us, uh, asking for food and asking for fun and Yeesh. asking for uh, questions Something and stuff like that. My, my mom God. did it. So that <laughs> self-love would be awesome for my mother. Yeah. But when we when we need to love a dog, we have to start with a, a pack oriented love. Mm -hmm. You know, family. What is the, what the family needs from me? That's that's uh, that's super important. You know, because dogs are pack oriented, and they want to have a pack. They don't necessarily need a home, because home is anywhere you are, right? Mm -hmm. And they don't really need you for food and water. You just have to let them free, in case that you don't want to offer it. Because dogs in Mexico don't really require people to give them food and water so mm -hmm. they know how to survive, right? What they do need is that family uh, uh, reunion, that family integration, uh, integration, the pack walk, you know, that's what they love the most. Mm -hmm. Playing, yeah, they, they'd rather play with the family or with a group of people, mm -hmm. a group of dogs, than by themselves, mm -hmm. right? They'd, like, they'd rather explore, follow, play, explore mm -hmm. with the family. Mm -hmm. So what is what a dog loves? A dog loves, first of all, life. They're very grateful. They're very happy. Uh, they love the motor code. They're very honest. Mm -hmm. They have integrity. Mm -hmm. They're loyal. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're men's best friend for a reason, mm -hmm. right? They live in the moment. They know how to survive uh, for food and water. They don't have to go to school. They don't have to, they don't, you don't have to tell them, hey, you have to work for your food and water, you know? Sometimes with you and Calvin, hey, you guys have to work for food and water. It's like you don't have to tell that to a dog. Mm -hmm. uh, a dog will learn to participate uh, based on the position they were born for, mm -hmm. right? And they'll they'll do it gladly. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, um, if they come and live with a human, and then that's when they meet the energy of love, right? Because the way we love is different. Mm -hmm. It's way different. Like we can have a dog that with disabilities, and we still keep him around. Of course, they don't, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. An animal, if you have disabilities, you're gone. Mm -hmm. Your the mom will push you away, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. they they can't afford someone with neurological problems, mm -hmm. someone who's not gonna be healthy. Mm -hmm. Who they can't just help can't afford. Pack. That's it. So mm -hmm. the reason why we do that is because we love, mm -hmm. right? And then we have the capability of the intelligence, mm -hmm. of of science. How to maintain the, the maintaining yeah. part, maintain. but also the science behind, right? Mm -hmm. So we can why? we invent. Uh, uh, medicine. medicine, we invent uh, like artificial like said, how intelligence. To maintain, how to help maintain. How, okay, so that part, the, the rational part, that is a human mm -hmm. you know, thing. So I think uh, one thing that we have in common with animals is our spirit and our instincts. What we don't have in common is the way we love and the way we think. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So in order for me to show love, I have to honor how things are. And without trying to change anything, because my goal is to help people connect, communicate, and have a relationship in a natural, simple, profound way that we can call love. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just science fiction, mm -hmm. right? Reality versus story. Mm -hmm. And so what do I do for a living? I help people remove themselves mm -hmm. from a fiction, mm -hmm. from, a, from a story, and bring them into the reality so they can ground themselves, so they can connect themselves. So when they give love, they're giving love to a behavior 
that is ideal, not just for them, mm -hmm. for the whole entire world, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. a dog, um, when you give him love, you have to love, come surrender, happy-go-lucky. If you love anything else, that dog will behave that way anywhere else, mm -hmm. right? So the same thing with kids. I want to. I wanted to make sure that you guys understand that in, in, instinctually. I always wanted to be a father, uh, but I always, I always knew the the uh, what I call calm, surrender, happy go lucky, calm, confident. That's all I wanted to teach you guys. Besides, you guys having the opportunity to go to school mm -hmm. and being smarter than me, mm -hmm. right? And the love, uh, you gotta. I'll compete with that. Mm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, because it, I I come from from. Um, from the school of my mother, the way she loves is unconditional. Ugh. Good luck. Good luck trying to compete with my yeah, grandma. Good luck. Good, good luck. luck. Yeah. There's nobody luck. out here. Yeah. It's like yeah. me trying to compete with my dad's work no. ethics. No. no. Good I luck. mean, I'm pretty good, but You're he's yeah. Top top. Yeah, no, but he is like yeah. to put it in perspective for you guys. It, my grandpa doesn't really care about money like that. So if he would, he'd probably be at the top of the top. He'd yeah. be bet, you know, top more top than Elon than Basil. He just doesn't care about that stuff. But his grind and his work ethic is impeccable. You, yeah. you, 80, 86, He's an animal, literally 86, an animal. This man comes to a ranch. 86 years old. 86, so. climbs, hikes, does things that not really anybody wants to do, and he'll do it all day in the and sun, And the heat, and the, cold. And the yeah. Doesn't matter. He doesn't he'll, like the cold. <laughs> <he'll outlast. laughs> he doesn't love the yeah, cold. But he'll do it, yeah. and he'll outlast anybody. And it's, and it's, it's you know, that mentality. But to go back onto that, uh, speaking of love, there were many uh, different forms of love that I saw growing up, which really helped me understand how I'm special and unique in my own way of loving. My way of love is because of you, and I say you have a lot of responsibility behind it because uh, growing up, we had different forms of love that wasn't very common and usual to the people that we were around. Yeah. We we're from Inglewood, you know. Uh, kids would play out in the streets. But the parents never took kids on pack walks. Never. I never <laughs> seen that. No, everybody would always see and would be scared of us, but it would be me, my dad, and my brother. My brother would be in a stroller, and I'd be walking next to my dad on a bike. On a bike. And my dad would just be walking. He goes, we have to walk the dogs. It doesn't matter. I don't care. You, I'm playing with my friends. Oh, I don't care. Dance. I don't care. If you're playing with your friends, your friends are going to be there. The dogs need you, right? Mm -hmm. And so the love that I was being taught was loyalty, loyalty, leadership, lead, lead mm -hmm. them, show them that mm -hmm. these are also your friends. Responsibility. And they'll be there longer than these guys mm -hmm. because they are more for the loyal. For right reasons. For the right reason. And these are more loyal than that. And let's say you you blow up and have all this fame and all this stuff. They might not be here. They will. Mm -hmm. But you have to make sure that the love that you put in is not just a love of unconditional mm -hmm. affection. A lazy love. A lazy love. The, the typical love, yeah. the, the I'm in love, love. No, mm -hmm. no, you need to put in mad work. And love is tiring. Mm -hmm. It can be. So the love that I saw growing up was a love of silence. Mm -hmm. I love being quiet. Mm -hmm. I, you know, the, Noble silence. I, man, this ranch is silent, and it speaks louder than any of you could even hear. There's so many energetic spectrum of volume that you guys could not even fathom. Mm -hmm. Two, Exercising is a form of love, no matter what type of exercise. Mm -hmm. And one of the main ones is the one is p being pack oriented, mm -hmm. pack walks, mm -hmm. whether it's a walk, whether it's a jog, whether it's a sprint, whatever. But you got to do it. Biking, probably. biking, whatever, whatever it was. But you got to do it. And it has to be for no less than this. Mm -hmm. Right. And this has to be involved. You have to be like this. Mm -hmm. And if you're not ready, you, the door's that way, bud, because you're going to mess everything up. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to ruin the whole formula that you've been already working and so consistent with. So consistency, mm -hmm. that is incredible. Yeah. Kids don't Discipline. kids don't really see that growing up. And if they do, it's very scarce because the parents have to be gone to provide that. Mm -hmm. But the ability and the privilege to go to work with them, another form of love, that parent and, and child time. You know, parents go to school for the parent and teacher conference to see how much the child has been learning so that a different form of love of appreciation mm -hmm. can be formed like damn look at him he's just doing all this thing i don't even know how to do right that's another form of love but when i went to school with you when you when you were taking me to the dog psychology when we were younger that form of love of exposure 
you don't know that you were just showing me what you were doing and you were basically doing the only thing you know how to do was be a really good leader be really loyal be family and pack oriented which is love mm -hmm. and then you learned how to live life unconditionally mm -hmm. with all of them mm -hmm. and so i saw that and it was it was something that i grew up with and now who i am i have love in a different form mm -hmm. my love is you have a different love language mine is um i love acts of service mm -hmm doing things, mm -hmm. doing things for you. Mm -hmm. You know, Andre, I need this, this, and done. Mm -hmm. Done. Mm -hmm. And the moment you ask me, it's not like, oh, I'm going to do it. If I have other obligations, I'll do that first, and you know that. But my biggest thing to make me feel good inside mm -hmm. is to be, be of service. To mm -hmm. I got it. Trust me. You don't got to worry about nothing. Mm -hmm. That's a relief of stress. That, to me, I remember you telling me, the best thing you can do as a child is relieve my stress mm -hmm. if we're at work. Right. The best thing you could do for me as a worker or as anything when I'm not here is don't provide stress, mm -hmm. relieve it from me so then I can bring more things and know that you can handle that. Mm -hmm. And then we can just keep knocking this out. Yeah. That's a different form of love. That's right. That, that got it. No problem. All right. What do you need me to do? I need this, this and this done. You were gone for a minute. You went to uh, Spain. Boom. Mm -hmm. Handled it. We got it done. Hey, what do you need? Got it. Luis, what do you need? Got it done. So we were having it. The healthiest way of love for me is healthy energy, healthy philosophy, healthy actions. Mm -hmm. And that is love. What I love about Mexico is Mexico taught me to love God. Mexico taught me to love the family. Mexico taught me to love work. What I love about America, America uh, helped me to love who am I? Mm -hmm. You know, who mm -hmm. is Caesar Milan? Who is Caesar Milan? And then... America taught me, what does Caesar value about himself? And then what I'm learning right now is how much Caesar loves himself. Mm -hmm. So each country shows you how to love something, mm -hmm. right? And that's something that uh, to, to be honorable, right? To honor Mexico, mm -hmm. to honor United States. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, in a form of loyalty, in a form of leadership, in a form of love, in a form of life, and this is what this is what we do. What we do, mm -hmm. you know, we we know we can teach. We we know we can change the world. I certainly have changed the world. Yes. Twenty twenty four is twenty years on TV. Yes. Congrats. You are twenty nine years yes, old. Yes, sir. Yeah. So no uh, kids. Most of your life, that's true. Yeah. That's most kids. of your life. <laughs> I'm uh, doing better than him already, guys. Most of your life. Well, thanks to that <laughs> a moment in my life, he's born. I was 25 when Andre was born, uh, and, and I'm very proud that he has no kids at this point because he needs to definitely, uh, uh, yeah, it has. I'm not ready. I'll just yeah, tell you, I'm yeah. not ready. <laughs> yeah. I still Larry like rambunctious. No, I'm good. Yes, it's just um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I, I, I feel that uh, you can explore the world a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, follow play explore, mm -hmm. explore the world a little bit more. You know, uh, uh, learn a more about cultures mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. And then make up your mind, mm -hmm. right? So there was one thing that I, I also I wanted to talk about. Uh, for you were talking about Mexico and grandparents and whatnot. Um, the talk topic about affection, 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 right? Uh, now, as a 29 year old grandson, mm -hmm. probably the most favorited, <laughs> I am getting tons of insane amount of affection from grandma and grandpa, mm -hmm. tons, and I'm getting calls. And I'm getting text messages from from aunts, your sisters. I'm getting all these relayed messages about how much they adore me, how much they love me, and how much they love me. Nonstop. Nonstop. And when Grandpa was last here, when I was growing up with him, with Grandpa, Grandpa was never really like that. He was more of, you got to be with your dad. You got to follow your dad. Protect your dad. Mm -hmm. Be responsible. Follow through. Go to work. Yeah, all of this. Yeah. And now, Grandpa is in a stage where just give the animal affection, 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 because he's already in that moment of life where he's starting to take a step back and say, I know what he's doing and I know how to do this because I'm from the same place. Mm -hmm. And now grandpa is showing me that affection, affection, affection in the right places, the right time and the right when. Mm -hmm. Good. You get the best uh, side of my dad. I know. My dad was very strict. If you think I was a strict, my dad was a strict. You weren't strict. strict. You were just fresh. Fresh from Mexico yeah. with fresh, yeah. 
fresh formulas, <laughs> fresh, original growing up mentality. Yeah, well, I was my myself, right? I didn't watch before. cartoons growing up because that's. Well, you, you watch Barney. Oh, but I meant like Cartoon Network was not a thing because you. Oh, they no, say you, stupid your, or or you know, they say shut yeah, up and you I, didn't like that. I used to, I used to not allow my kids to watch any show on Cartoon Network. There, there was uh, they had bad words stupid, because I grew yeah. up in that. Yeah. I grew up in you know I I didn't I couldn't mm -hmm. I was not allowed to say bad words mm -hmm. until today I can't say bad words in front of my mom. Right. And oh, forget about saying bad words in front of my dad. It's, yeah. it's, it's so almost like, yeah, yeah, it's almost sentence. Like, for, yeah, I, sentence. I would be sentenced to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and 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 those shows that my dad grew up with was Jetsons and Flintstones and the Smurfs and all of these shows. Nah, yeah, the Smurfs yeah. wasn't mine. The Flintstones. Oh, well, Flintstones. But I mean, in in that category of it was no bad words. It was no bad words. No. But then the shows that I would watch was it would say stupid and shut up. So yeah. he said no, and so I turned to Nickelodeon or I turned to animal documentaries. I remember wa watching a ton of animal yeah. documentaries. So that helped me propel my love and affection, affection, affection for animals. And now that I see grandpa's like, listen, you have the chickens, they follow you, they adore you, mm -hmm. just give them affection. Yeah. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I have to be a leader for them. No, you don't. So now it's a conflict of interest. My dad's telling me one thing, but my grandpa who's on top of everybody is telling me the other thing. Yeah. So where am I going? <laughs> you know, so the affection applied at the right time, applied at the right places can be rewarding and beneficial. But yeah. I want you to speak on yeah. the negatives or when and when not to, to do but these But this is one thing. Why. This is one thing, sorry. This is one thing we all have to understand. And coming from uh, coming from Mexico, I grew up you know, in, in, in a place where uh, money was not flowing, even though, uh, yeah, money was not flowing. But not every kid gets to experience love. Not every kid. You know, not every kid has a mom and a dad. Not every kid. Not every kid has an education. Not every kid. You see what I mean? So, the for those kids, uh, getting uh, galletas de animalito was love. Uh -huh. For those kids, uh, having an opportunity just to be around somebody, that was love. You know what I mean? So my point is, let's don't forget about the simple way of see life gratitude uh, uh, gratefulness right uh, to have food and water and a shelter and a family and and uh, warm food <laughs> it's like the simplest thing you know what I mean love is not oh I love you and you know and and just I don't know it's just I, I think the word love has been used wrongfully and, and that's one that's one of the things that I, I help a lot on dog on dog dog lovers yeah because that's the first thing they do mm -hmm. you know what do you mean I can't love my dog mm -hmm. it's like no uh, yes you will yeah, you you're are. just gonna do it right yeah you can do it you know because you right have way. a dog that is in a five flight avoidance <laughs> right. so yeah, yeah. if yeah. you give love you nurture in five flight yeah. avoidance you might get bit and, and but they're already getting bit because oh, that's right, all I right, get right. dogs yeah. that's what you can call that's it, yeah. all I get right yeah, yeah. red zone cases so in your pers in your opinion what animals here are the best resemblance or representation for love that you see either partnership relationship which animals do you think are best representative for that term they love it follows through i think people will love to see santiago and alfie uh -huh. uh, i think that is a very loving uh two different species just like we humans are different species than a dog and we have, you know, you had a, a very loving relationship with Sugar and Gio. Mm -hmm. And Calvin had a very loving relationship Coco with Coco Taco. and Taco. And Jade. And Jade. Yeah. Uh, I had a very loving relationship uh, Daddy with Daddy and Junior. You know, uh, so I think uh, I think right now who represents us best is Santiago and Alfie. And Alfie. I would say the same. I, um, I would also say the cow and the horse. India and Amadeus. Okay. Because India is very affectionate, very loving. And when she came here, she was super fearful. You know, she's a little baby calf. Mm -hmm. And now she has opened up and really uh, taken to Amadeus mm -hmm. and she'll groom him. Oh. She'll protect him. When when Marty is, you know, acting a mm -hmm. little uh, jealous or mm -hmm. selfish with the attention. Selfish more than that. Selfish. Anything. She'll come in, pa. Mm. But hey, not around him. Mm -hmm. It's very. Santiago to Alfie because mm -hmm. Santiago if you guys don't know Santiago is very protective of Alfie mm -hmm. if you get close to him bam he'll touch you if you get and he's here, a singer so yeah, that's sing, like and he whistles he and has he's, the singing he's singing Spanish songs to Alfie and he'll serenade him and the same thing even though India the cow doesn't sing 
what she does is grooms and it's a different form of affection so everywhere he goes i see it and there's different forms of love throughout the ranch but i w wanted to put the spotlight on alfie and, and santiago i think uh, uh the one we are are not mentioning which is like a super fatal attraction is rio and i Oh yeah, well, but that—that's self. That's like can't can't. That's like you can't Rio. be LeBron and, and and mention yourself to be put up on top three. Rio, yeah, Rio is oh, in yeah. love with me, guys. Yeah. Just like Rio would learn anything Rio new right you. now. Yeah, Rio will literally kill any woman that will come near me. She's that's what is. I'm saying. It's not love, but it's a little fatal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's deadly a fatal love. attraction. Yeah, it's a deadly yeah. love. And yeah. I like it. Yeah, and yeah, I'm addicted. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's true. Finally, I, somebody's in love with me. Yeah. You hear that, Ma? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I definitely agree. Santiago, Alfie, Amadeus, India. Um, for you, what was it like having to learn how to change your way of how, having to love or your new approach of learning to love? Well, obviously, I wish I could I could know about it since I was little so I can master it by the time I'm 10 because I love mastery. Um, uh, I would be... Um, much kinder to me, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not kind to me, I'm not gonna kind, be kind to anybody around. So, mm -hmm. um, I that's it. I just wish I wouldn't know that. That's why I am very adamant about mm -hmm. education, education. You know, uh, everything we teach. You know, any show that I do is education, entertainment, and enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, knowing that and being a kid at once in my life, I wish I could have natural, simple, profound. Uh, messages mm -hmm. you know I, I wish I could have uh, good role models like the way I am right now right mm -hmm. to be surrounded by uh, anybody who's older than me should be like amazing right so I can that's what I want to be I want to be amazing yeah that's a little interesting because of the amount of people that have come through this ranch you know your friends your guests all the clients it and I'm not throwing any shade or anything it just seems that you you somehow are just here and and it's interesting because a lot of your clients are intellects mm -hmm. high the high the ladder high mm -hmm. on the ladder mm -hmm. you're getting bill gates people type mm -hmm. of stuff mm -hmm. and they're coming to you but they're the smartest mm -hmm. right we're not seen as educationally intellectual as much as them where mm -hmm. they're over here doing data science and all mm -hmm. this computer engineering and data mm -hmm. software all this stuff and they come to somebody who isn't in that realm of working mm -mm. to learn how to do something as simple mm -hmm. as how do I get my dog mm -hmm. to walk with me? It blows my mind. The 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 one the one that the one time a very very wealthy person asked me, teach my dog to love me. That's crazy. Well, not crazy of a thing to do. It's just crazy no. because it's been done in front of me so many times mm -hmm. but i can't teach your dog to love you no 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 you have to do it yeah yeah you gotta play the role you know what i mean yeah. you have to be the energy yeah. the philosophy and the action for love to exist at a deep level mm -hmm. not as superficially because that's that's actually that's exactly what I, I want to make sure love is not superficial or just thrown just like a like like a like it has no deep meaning you're you just know? throwing it out there yeah oh, i love you oh yeah. yes i love it does you. get thrown around i love, a lot. You. I yes. love my dog okay so, uh, let me see your energy yeah all right let me see your actions mm? Mm. that's not love mm, yeah <laughs> well i hope this loving conversation between my son andre and myself uh was very loving to you it caused trigger love in a good way uh, hopefully we we can uh dig deep and and uh make sure that we honor love respect love 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 and live life with a lot of love. And the four L's, loyalty, leadership, love, life. And hopefully you have an amazing February 14 with whoever you love, a bird, a cat, a dog, Everything. yourself, a pack. Uh, don't forget God, plants, everything. Practice love as much as you can, but do it in a very genuine, pure way that comes from your spirit, very respectful, that comes from the animal in you. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the heart knows what to do. And then you live life that way and make sure you always help somebody else to become better human for a better planet. Have an amazing February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.